you're looking to combine art and science, there's a brand new exhibit at the Paper Discovery Center. And Emily Beyer is in Appleton with more. Morning, Em. Good morning, Brooke and Fish. Hello, everyone. We've been having, uh, I would say, too much fun here. It's been really cool to be able to look around at some of this different art here, but with, the sun with your sunglasses on and getting to experience it, and all of it has just been so fun. So I'm joined by Stacy Parrish. You are actually one of the, the fun people that have gotten to put together some of this art. And mm -hmm. we're going to have to hit the lights right away because I want to talk about your art over here. Yeah. Tell me about uh, Van Glow over here. Van Glow, <laughs> yeah. So um, all of the pieces that I put together for this exhibit, um, I had a really interesting process that I needed to go through. Um, right. I, like, I'm, I'm an art educator here, but I also, um, I'm an artist by trade. So um, I needed to start with a completely black canvas, which okay. is uh, completely different. Ordinarily, sure. start with a white canvas. Um, I need to put down a layer of white paint. Um, and then we built up the color from there. And the glasses that you have on, they actually break up the spectrum so that some colors pop and some colors recede. So I had to keep that in mind as I was coloring. We also had sure. um, volunteers come in. So I painted um, a, a lot of the canvases with um, white paint. And then they put the colors on top. So we had this really cool painting party, too. We had kids from the Renaissance. There you go. <laughs> yeah, party. Yeah. Uh, Renaissance School of the Arts come in. So there was a lot of really cool interactive back and forth where people were putting colors on in the light and then coming in here into the dark to see how they turned out. And we just ended up with this really cool, um, this really cool result, not only um, with the colors, um, but then also with that extra layer once we put the 3D glasses on. Right. And that's what I love so much about this is as an artist, I'm sure you really have to think what color, what do I want to pop and what do I not? Because you're not just doing art, you're doing 3D art. Right. Right. And um, there's also an element of when the colors butt up against each other, you have even more contrast. So there was that to think about, too. So it was a really, really fun exhibit um, to put together. And there's actually kind of a pop art element here, too. I don't know if we want to show it yeah. or not. We'll have but to get to it in, the, in our next little segment, too, because okay. it is, it's really fun to take a look at everything here, you guys. Yeah. This exhibit is here until July 3rd. They're closed on Sundays, open 10 to 4, so you have to be able to come and check it out. Brook and Fish, I've just been like, I mean, this is a hoot. People have to come out and <laughs> take a look at this because, I mean, everything is literally hitting me in the face. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. Thank you so much, Emily. It kind of kind of groovy right. in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah kind of groovy. <laughs> Looks pretty neat.